to welcome to my video. Um, this is one is going to be about um, how to sample off of YouTube uh, onto um, any music making apps on the iPad. Uh, there's currently, as far as I know, there's two ways of doing this. Um, one is using documents and the other way, which is the way I'm going to show you, which is using um, an external um, audio interface mixer type thing. Uh, which will um, allow you to direct the audio into Beatmaker. Usually you can't um, sample off of YouTube or um, Spotify or any of those apps because they don't allow you to, um, to direct the audio through, um, through different apps. Um, whereas um, other things like um, audio units and synths and things like that, you are able to sample because obviously you can actually open them up um, and direct them through beat maker so um, hit subscribe if you want to uh, follow along to any of the, the new videos I'll be doing reviews and tricks and tips and stuff on mainly on the iPad and using beat maker okay to my knowledge this trick only really works with um, um, mixes um, and audio interfaces which allow you to um, direct the audio in different um, different ways I've tried it with the audio 6 from um, native instruments um, and it doesn't seem to work. Um, I'm not too sure if there's any other um, interfaces that do it, but I know I've tried it with a few of these mixers um, which have uh, like a two in, two out um, audio interface in integrated into the actual mixer. They usually work because you can direct the audio into different, um, different areas. Um, with this mixer, you can usually have a line in or you can actually have the USB um, audio. So currently, there's nothing going into the line input. Um, so if I go into this one, so basically, I've, I've, this red button here is now saying, um, if I press it in, it allows me to pick up the audio coming out from the iPad. So, so that audio now is basically coming through the iPad and it's using this, um, uh, coming out of this mixer through the USB cable that we've got um, plugged in there. Um, I've currently got my um, micro brute plugged into the um, into channel one, um, so I can actually sample into um, into the uh, into Beatmaker as well if I wanted to. Um, the great thing about this mixer is really really cheap. I think brand new. It's only sort of thirty quid, I think. Um, um, but like I say, I've only got picked it up for like 12, 12 quid um, on eBay. Um, and it came with a load of cables as well, so it was a real bargain. I know it does work with other um, um, mixes as well. Um, so, um, but, but as long as it's got like an audio audio interface integrated into the actual mixer. So if I go into um, a new page, I want to sample onto this pad from YouTube. Um, so what I need to do is go into the record page of uh, Beatmaker choose the actual recording source so it's going to be a hardware input so what we do is we take it from the hardware input so here there is the um, hardware input from uh, the two in two out audio interface integrated into this mixer so we've got the so basically we've got two um, two channels one and two um, so if we want to record bon mono we can just choose one of them or we it's summed into a stereo pair so if I use that one there. So now when I press, I want to go into YouTube, which is here. Usually uh, what happens is if I press play, and then try and go into, into the um, Beatmaker app, the audio stops because it does, um, YouTube hasn't got the play in the background um, facility like other apps may have um, so what you need to do is press start so it's waiting for any sort of audio signal now if I go into the YouTube app and bring it to a point where I want to record from and then press play Beatmaker is now in the background um, listening to this audio and actually has started the recording process automatically.
So if I press pause now and then go back into Beatmaker, you'll see there that it's been recording for 16, 19, 20 seconds. Press, that, uh, press record again, that will stop the recording process. So this is the uh, final So now, now I've got that audio, I can manipulate it in any way I want to. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and I would say subscribe and uh, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, if I get enough subscribers and I see I get enough interest in this, I'll be making more videos um, in coming weeks. So stay tuned.